أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم مذاكرة بي شيخ محمد فوزي الكركري قدس الله سره In the name of your Lord, a gateway to divine sciences In the name of the Lord, بسم الرب, knowledge unfolds before you The seeker needs to embrace the divine command اقرأ بسم ربك Read in the name of your Lord This reading through and with the name of our Lord is the essence of our journey to divine sciences Without reading in the name of the Lord, sacred knowledge eludes the seeker on the path. The Lord's name remains beyond the seeker's solitary reach, for the Creator dictates, Iqra bismi, read in the name. The instruction is clear, it is not Iqra ismi, read the name, but Iqra bismi. Indeed, in the Lord's name, and by the Lord's name, you discern knowledge. As an analogy to understand this verse, Read in the name equates to proceed by vehicle or travel by vehicle. Meaning by vehicle, you navigate this journey to fulfill your purposes. Without this vehicle, your ability to move is compromised. Without this vehicle, progress becomes unattainable. If the verse said proceed without specifics, then the choice of action is yours. However, the verse constrains reading to the medium of bismi. Thus, This implies not just reading through your own perspective and intellect, but beyond your actions and cognition. We fear that in your solitary and mediated attempt to acquire sciences, your knowledge becomes bitterness instead of enlightenment, chaff instead of nectar. Therefore, how should one read? With, in the name, bismi, under our Lord's guidance. How does one initiate this reading? With the grace of closeness and proximity to the divine. Should you stray from divine engagement, one forfeits the reader's essence. Detaching from divine engagement, one ceases to be a reader. This applies to all who study, engaging in fields whether they be physics, mathematics, or otherwise. Absent a connection to the divine, their studies, devoid of sanctity, do not qualify as genuine reading. Without divine sanction, such engagement lacks legitimacy. Therefore, who is the recipient of such a message? This divine directive, read in the name of your Lord, was bestowed upon our Prophet ﷺ. This symbolic name of the Lord, Ar-Rabb, encapsulates all representing Jama. So where do we find this Jama? In Ummul Kitab, the mother of the book which is Al-Fatiha, established as a sacred covenant between the divine and the believer that is the bond shared between the creator and his servant. Without the pivotal Sabal Mathani, which means the repeated seven verses and the profound study of the mother of the book, one might find themselves distant from the essence of divine knowledge. The study of the name ar the Lord, is the way to comprehending the mother of the book. According to Ibn al-Abbas, Umm al-Kitab stands apart from the Qur'an. It stands distinct from the Qur'an as the Qur'an itself embodies the mother of the book. Thus, the Qur'an emerges from the Sab al-Mathani, branching out from the mother of the book. This suggests that Umm al-Kitab has evolved to become a reflection of the Qur'an, serving as its exposition, elucidation, representing its farq. In essence, Umm al-Kitab has branched out and yielded the Qur'anic tree for us. Sayyiduna Ali, karramallahu wajha, emphasizing its significance, reminds us that all contents of the Qur'an are encapsulated within Al-Fatiha. Al-Qur'an wa mafi fil fatiha The essence of the entire Qur'an resides within Al-Fatiha. This opening chapter serves as the quintessence of the entire Qur'an encapsulating divine guidance within its lines. He continues, Al-Fatiha wa ma fiha fi bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. The essence of Al-Fatiha resides within bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, leading back to the core principle of read in the name of your Lord, iqra bismi rabbik. The phrase bismi rabbik in the name of your Lord equates to bismillah in the name of Allah, which in turn encapsulates Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim in the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful, and whatever the latter encapsulates. Sayyiduna Ali continues, Bismillah wa ma fiha 
في الباء والسر الباء وما فيها في النقطة Similarly, بسم الله is encapsulated in the ba and the secret of the ba is within the dot النقطة It is important to discern between the ba and the secret of the ba Many seekers, in contrast to the arifin erroneously associate the ba with a dot falling into the concept of hulul incarnation Sayyiduna Ali here says the secret and not the entirety Sayyiduna Ali continues proclaiming وَأَنَا and I am the dot meaning that he is the secret of the ba consequently this means that he is the secret of Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim which in turn means that he is the secret of the mother of the book thus in following our previous logic we deduce that Sayyiduna Ali is the secret of the Qur'an through this message Sayyiduna Ali wants to convey that the dot is the secret of the Qur'an the secret of the mother of the book Notice that the divine directive, Iqra, has two alifs. It starts with one alif with the hamza at the bottom and ends with an alif with the hamza at the top. This word marks the commencement of divine revelation received by the Prophet ﷺ with alif as the first letter bestowed upon him by the archangel Gabriel. This alif was revealed with a dot in the bottom analogous in form to how the ba is written in the Arabic alphabet. Removing the surrounding alifs from iqra, we are left with the qaf and the ra. Reading it from right to left, we get qarra, which means affirm. We are called to affirm with unwavering conviction that the alif and the dot, the line and the dot, together must resonate wholly within your heart, affirming the divine sovereignty in its entirety. In doing so, we embrace and acknowledge the omnipotence of the divine lordship. Qarra, when mirrored, transforms into raqqa. When the dot settles in the heart, one ascends, yartaqi, to greater heights of spiritual enlightenment. Thus, I am the dot, means that the dot has settled within my heart, elevated me, and as a result, I became the secret of the Qur'an. This is the wisdom that Sayyiduna Ali, karam Allahu wajha, wishes to convey to us. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ali Sayyidina Muhammad kama sallayta ala Sayyidina Ibrahim wa ala ali Sayyidina Ibrahim wa barik ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ali Sayyidina Muhammad kama barikta ala Sayyidina Ibrahim wa ala ali Sayyidina Ibrahim fil alamin innaka Hamidu Majid.